And welcome back. Among the businesses targeted in last night's looting, Don Brown Chevrolet in South St. Louis. News 11's Michelle Madera shows us the damage at the iconic car dealership at the entrance to the hill. Here's a look at some of the broken out windows over here at Don Brown Chevrolet in South St. Louis. You can see that many have already been broken up. There's another one over there by the main entrance. Now, St. Louis police tell me this happened around 2.30 in the morning over here at Kings Highway and Southwest. They say that this was one of 55 businesses broken into or burglarized. Now, at this point, police are not giving much information on what exactly happened here. They say at this point they're not aware of any vehicles being stolen. However, they say they have 72 hours to finish their reports. Don Brown Jr., the owner of this dealership, tells Fox 2 that there is surveillance video of at least 13 people breaking through the glass wandering around inside. He says it appears as though they're looking for something which may have been the keys to these vehicles out here, but he says that those are locked in a safe. Now he says some of them were wearing masks, others were not. The director of public safety, Jimmy Edwards, says that there were roughly 200 people who were out late overnight. Now obviously this is a very different situation from the thousands of protesters we saw peacefully making their ways across the city of St. Louis and across the nation. And there were some acts of civil disobedience, but this is very different. The director of public safety, Jimmy Edwards, says that there were roughly 200 people who were out late overnight and committing criminal acts. He says 25 people have been arrested so far. Now, several law enforcement agencies are also working using this type of surveillance video to identify these folks. The city of St. Louis has now instated a curfew that will last from 9 p.m. until 6 a.m. In South St. Louis, Michelle Medeiros, News 11.